Patras Greek, Patra Greek, Patra, Classical Greek and Katharevisa, Patrai Place, Greek pronunciation, Patrai, Latin, Patrai Place is Greece's third largest city and the regional capital of western Greece, in the northern Peloponnese, 215 kilometers 134 miles west of Athens. The city is built at the foothills of Mount Panachikon, overlooking the Gulf of Patras. Patras has a population of 213,984 in 2011. The core settlement has a history spanning for four millennia. In the Roman period, it had become a cosmopolitan center of the Eastern Mediterranean, whilst, according to the Christian tradition, it was also the place of St. Andrew's martyrdom. According to the results of 2011 census, the metropolitan area has a population of 260,308 and extends over an area of 738.87 square kilometers, 285.28 square miles. Dubbed as Greece's gate to the west, Patras is a commercial hub, while its busy port is a nodal point for trade and communication with Italy and the rest of Western Europe. The city has two public universities and one technological institute, hosting a large student population and rendering Patras an important scientific centre with a field of excellence in technological education. The Rio Antirio Bridge connects Patras' easternmost suburb of Rio to the town of Antirio, connecting the Peloponnese Peninsula with mainland Greece. Every year, in February, the city hosts one of Europe's largest carnivals. Notable features of the Patras Carnival include its mammoth satirical floats and balls and parades, enjoyed by hundreds of thousands of visitors in a Mediterranean climate. Patras is also famous for supporting an indigenous cultural scene active mainly in the performing arts and modern urban literature. It was European capital of culture in 2006. Topic. Geography Patras is 215 kilometers 134 miles west of Athens by road, 94 kilometers 58 miles northeast of Pyrgos, 7 kilometers 4 miles south of Rio, 134 kilometers 83 miles west of Corinth, 77 kilometers 48 miles northwest of Calaverita, and 144 kilometers 89 miles northwest of Tripoli. A central feature of the urban geography of Patras is its division into upper and lower sections. This is the result of an interplay between natural geography and human settlement patterns. The lower section of the city, Cato Poli, which includes the 19th century urban core and the port, is adjacent to the sea and stretches between the estuaries of the rivers of Glafkos and Herodros. It is built on what was originally a bed of river soils and dried up swamps. The older upper section Poli covers the area of the pre-modern settlement, around the fortress, on what is the last elevation of Mount Panachikon 1,926 meters 6 feet before the Gulf of Patras. Hydrology <inaudible> 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 The largest river in the area is the Glafkos, flowing to the south of Patras. Glafkos springs in Mount Panachikon and its water is, since 1925, collected in a small mountainous reservoir dam near the village of Soli and subsequently pumped in order to provide energy for the country's first hydroelectric plant. Other rivers are Herodros, Malachos and the mountain torrent Diakoniaris. Climate Patras has a Mediterranean climate. It features the typical mild, wet winters and hot, dry summers, with spring and autumn being pleasant transitional seasons. Autumn in Patras, however, is wetter than spring. Ecology Of great importance for the biological diversity of the area and the preservation of its climate is the Swamp of Agia, a small and coastal aquatic ecosystem of only 30 hectares 74 acres, north of the city center. The main features of this wetland are its apparent survival difficulty, being at the heart of a densely populated urban center that features a relatively arid climate and its admittedly high level of biodiversity, with over 90 species of birds being observed until the early 1990s, according to a study by the Patras Bureau of the Hellenic Ornithological Society. Seismic <inaudible> activity <inaudible> 
Another geophysical characteristic of the region is its high level of seismicity. Small tremors are recorded along the coast of Patras almost constantly. Larger earthquakes hit the area every few years with potentially destructive effects. In 1993, a 5.0 magnitude earthquake caused some damage to several mostly older buildings throughout Patras due to the proximity of the epicenter to the city. On June 15, 1995, a 6.2 magnitude earthquake hit the nearby town of Igen, also causing some structural damage to a few buildings in Patras. The Ionian Islands are also frequently hit by even more severe earthquakes, some of which can be felt in the city. In antiquity, the most notable example of destruction caused by an earthquake in the region was the total submergence of the ancient Achaean city of Heliki, now Aliki. History Antiquity The first traces of settlement in Patras date to as early as the 3rd millennium BC, in the area of modern Aro. Patras flourished for the first time in the post helladic or Mycenaean period 1580 Ancient Patras was formed by the unification of three Mycenaean villages in modern Aro, namely Anthea from mythological Anthea and Masatis. Mythology has it that after the Dorian invasion, a group of Achaeans from Laconia led by the eponymous Patrius established a colony. In antiquity Patras remained a farming city. It was in Roman times that it became an important port. After 280 BC and prior to the Roman occupation of Greece, Patras played a significant role in the foundation of the Second Achaean League, Achaiki Sympolitea, along with the cities of Dime, Tritea and Pharae. Later on, and following the Roman occupation of Greece in 146 BC, Patras played a key role, and Augustus refounded the city as a Roman colony in the area. In addition, Patras has been a Christian center since the early days of Christianity, and it is the city where Saint Andrew was crucified. <laughs> Middle Ages and Early Modern In the Byzantine era Patras continued to be an important port as well as an industrial center. One of the most scholarly philosophers and theologians of the time, Arethas of Caesarea was born at Petrae, at around 860. By the 9th century, there are strong signs the city was prosperous. The widow Danielis from Patras had accumulated immense wealth in land ownership, the carpet and textile industry, and offered critical support in the ascent of Basil I the Macedonian to the Byzantine throne. In 1205 the city was captured by William of Champlet and Vilhardwin, and became a part of the Principality of Achaia. It became the seat of the barony of Patras, and its Latin archbishop primate of the Principality. In 1408, Patras became Venetian, until it was recaptured in 1430 by the Despotate of Morea and its despot Constantine Palaiologos, who thus succeeded in recovering for the Byzantine Empire the whole of the Morea, apart from Venetian possessions. The administration of Patras was given to George Sprances, while Constantine was immediately contested by the Ottoman Empire and later, in 1449, became emperor of the Byzantine Empire. Patras remained a part of the Despotate of Morea until 1458, when it was conquered by the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire, Mehmet II. Under the Ottomans, it was known as Baliabadra, from the Greek Palaya Patra, Old Patras, as opposed to Nea Patra, the town of Waipati in central Greece. Though Mehmet granted the city special privileges and tax reductions, it never became a major center of commerce. Venice and Genoa attacked and captured it several times in the 15th and 16th centuries, but never re-established their rule effectively, except for a period of Venetian rule in 1687-1715. Modern era Patras was one of the first cities in which the Greek Revolution began in 1821. The Ottoman garrison, confined to the citadel, held out until 1828. Finally, the city was surrendered on the 7th of October 1828 to the French expeditionary force in the Peloponnese under the command of General Maison. After the war, most of the city and its buildings were completely destroyed. The new city was planned under the supervision of Stamatis Vulgaris after orders by Ioannis Kapodistrias. Patras developed quickly into the second largest urban center in late 19th century Greece. 
The city benefited from its role as the main export port for the agricultural produce of the Peloponnese. In the early 20th century, Patras developed fast and became the first Greek city to introduce public streetlights and electrified tramways. The war effort necessitated by the First World War hampered the city's development and also created uncontrollable urban sprawl after the influx of displaced persons from Asia Minor after the 1922 population exchange between Greece and Turkey. In the Second World War the city was a major target of Italian air raids. In the Axis occupation period, a German military command was established and German and Italian troops stationed in the city. After the liberation in October 1944, the city grew fast to recover, but in later years was increasingly overshadowed by the urban pole of Athens. <inaudible> <inaudible> urban landscape The city is divided into the upper and the lower section, connected with roads and broad stairs. The upper section is the older and the more picturesque, however, the lower section is laid out according to the 1858 city plan, featuring a variety of squares. The most notable of these are the Sila Alonia and the Georgiou I Square. A number of notable neoclassical buildings are to be found, including the Apollon Theater in Georgiou I Square, the Town Hall, the headquarters of the local trade association and the Court of Justice. A replica of Patras Lighthouse, the city's emblematic old lighthouse, which was at the dock of Ayos Nikolaos, rises at the end of Trian Navarhan Street, near the Temple of St. Andreas. In general, much of Patras coastline is framed by roads and avenues running alongside, these include Dimeon Coast to the south and Irun Polytechniu Road to the north. <laughs> Main sites Patras and its region is home to various ancient Greek, Roman and Byzantine monuments, including the Roman Odeon, the Fortress of Rio and the Fortress Castle of Patras. More specifically, the main sites of the city are The Roman Odeon, the most significant ancient monument, is in the upper town and was built around 160 AD, in the reign of either Antoninus Pius or Marcus Aurelius. It has been restored and partially reconstructed, and is used as an open-air theatre for performances and concerts in the summer. The medieval Patras Castle, in the ancient Acropolis overlooking the city, was initially built in the 6th century AD by the Byzantine Emperor Justinian, having many additions from the period of the Frankish and Venetian rule of the city, up to as far as the time of the Despotate of Morea and later the Ottoman Empire. Its current outline dates back to the second Venetian rule of the town 1687 to 1715. Today, its interior is used as a public garden. The Roman Amphitheater, near the Roman Odeon, in Ifestu Street, dating from the 1st century AD, at a period of the biggest development of Roman Patras. Its area has been only partially excavated. The Church of St. Andrew of Patras was founded in 1908 by King George I and was inaugurated in 1974. It is dedicated to St. Andrew, the patron of the city. It is the second largest temple of Byzantine style in the Balkans after the Cathedral of St. Sava in Belgrade. The central cupola is 46 metres 151 feet tall and is the base for a 5 metre 16 feet gold-plated cross and 12 smaller ones, symbolising Christ and the Twelve Apostles. A congregation of at least 5,000 can attend a sermon within the church. The Municipal Theatre Apollon, built in 1872 to plans by the German architect Ernst Ziller. The building is characteristic of the 19th-century neoclassical style and is in the central square of the city. The Achaya Klaus Wine Industry and Tasting Center, which is on the outskirts in Petroto village. It was founded in 1861 by the Bavarian Gustav Kloss and is most famous for its Mavro Daphne. The Patras Archaeological Museum exhibits the history of Patras from the prehistoric era to the late Roman period. The Roman aqueduct that led from the springs of Romanos to the Acropolis. The aqueduct measured 6.5 kilometers .04 miles from the water cistern to the castle. For the greater part of this distance, the water passed through an underground channel, passing over valleys and gorges on carefully constructed archways, parts of which still stand, in the area of Aroi. The Turkish Baths building 16th century, still retain their initial use, and are one of the oldest Turkish baths surviving in Europe. The Patras Lighthouse, a reconstructed Faros 
Lighthouse, which is the symbol of the city. The Aju Nokolau Stairs, Jerichostopulu Stairs, Patrios Stairs and Tryon Navarshan Stairs, outdoor grand staircases all over the center of the city dividing the upper town from downtown. Parks and squares Georgiou I Square, the central square and the heart of the city. It was named after King George I. The square's fountains were installed in 1875 at a cost of 70,000 drachmas each, a huge amount for the finances of Greece and Patra at the time. It was and continues to be the center of political and cultural life in the city, hosting all significant activities, political gatherings, rallies, cultural events and, most importantly for some, its carnival. Ethnicus Antistasios Square, Olga's Square is known by the name of Queen Olga, wife of King George I, and was planted with trees bearing the name, the Queen's Garden. Today the square is officially known as Ethnicus Antistasios, but its old name Olga's Square is the one in most regular use. Tryon Simeon Square bears the name of the three Allied powers who fought for the liberation of Greece, Britain, France and Russia. The square features a flower clock and links the AU Nikolaou pedestrian way with the seaside front and the dock of Aeos Nikolaos. Silalonia Square Greek, Celalonia or formerly Plataea Ypsilon Alonian is one of Patras's most popular squares. It is 1.5 kilometers (0.93 miles) from downtown Patras, next to the city's main north-south street, Gonary Street. It features a fountain, many sidewalks, palm trees, and playgrounds. A bronze statue of Germanos of Patras stands on the northern end, while a memorial plaque to people executed in the Axis occupation of Greece stands on the southwestern corner. It is surrounded by several shops, restaurants, and cafes, and a number of modernist buildings. It was completed in the mid to late 19th century, when trees were added, along with neoclassical buildings. After World War II and the Greek Civil War, however, and through the 1960s and 1970s, most neoclassical buildings were replaced by eight-story residential buildings. In the West End, a 15-meter tall feet cliff overlooks the Tryon Navarshan pedestrian street, and offers a wide vista across the western Gulf of Patras, including the mountains of Itolokernania. The Spinney of Patras Greek, Decilio is in a pine tree-covered hill, which is dubbed the Gulf of Patras Veranda, because of the panoramic view it offers. The Spinney is ideal for recreational walks and jogging, with its specially formed paths and the shade offered by the tall trees. The pine trees that cover the Spinney were planted in March 1916 by students of Patras Primary Schools under the supervision of the Austrian forest specialist Stegel. Topic. Architecture As a part of the 2006 European Capital of Culture program, there was a project for the restoration of the city's architectural heritage. Patras Center is characterized by a composition of architectural currents and trends. Alpha representative example are the facades around the central square of the city Georgiou I Square. The neoclassical Apollo Theater, a work of Ernst Ziller, is next to the modernist building of the Hall of Literature and Art. Megaro Lagao Kaidan Today's Patra is a relatively newly built city, as its medieval buildings were completely destroyed in the Greek War of Independence. The oldest surviving buildings, apart from ancient monuments and the castle, are the Church of Pantocrator in Agnopoli and a residential building Oikiasini at the corner of Aeu Nikolaou and Mazonos Street, built in 1832. The area on the south of the castle, around the Roman Odeon and the Church of Pantocrator, in the upper town Agnopoli, is the most appealing of the city, because of its status as the only area where construction height is limited to two-story buildings. <laughs> <laughs> Districts and neighborhoods Nowadays, the municipal units of Rio, Paralia, Masatida and Vrachnaika have functionally become a part of the wider urban complex of Patras. Apart from the city centre, the main districts of Patras are <laughs> <laughs> Government Patras is the regional capital of Western Greece and the capital of the Achaia Regional Unit. Since 2011, the city is also the capital of the administrative division, which includes along with Western Greece, the regions of Peloponnese and the Ionian Islands.
Topic: Municipality. The current municipality of Patras was formed at the 2011 local government reform by the merger of five municipalities that made up the Patras urban area. These former municipalities, which became municipal units, are, in parenthesis their population, 2011 Masatida 13,852 Paralia 9,987 Patras 171,484 Rio 14034 Vraknaika 4627 The municipality has an area of 334.858 square kilometers 129.289 square miles the municipal unit 125.420 square kilometers 48.425 square miles Topic Demographics The following list presents demographic data on the municipality of Patras over the years 2012. From 2011 on, can data also reflect the city's urban area population, as all the municipalities that made up the Patras urban area were joined to create the new larger Patras municipality, formed at the 2011 local government reform. Consulates. <coughs> <coughs> The city hosts consulates from several European countries Consulate of Austria Consulate of France Consulate of Belgium Consulate of Sweden Consulate of Switzerland Royal Danish Consulate Consulate of United Kingdom Infrastructure <inaudible> 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 Heavy infrastructure works performed in the 2000s include the Peros Paraperos Dam to provide water supply for Patras and surrounding towns and a small industries park that will be constructed next to the Glacos River and provide an easy connection with the new port. The city is one of the main Greek internet and GRNET hubs and is connected with high-speed lines to Athens as part of the backbone. A metropolitan optical network will be deployed in the city, with a total length of 48 kilometers 30 miles. Two major state hospitals operate in the city, the Agios Andreas Hospital is the oldest of the two, and General University Hospital of Patras. There also exists two smaller state hospitals, Karamandanio, a children's hospital, and the Center of Chest Diseases of southwestern Greece. A large range of private hospitals and clinics operate in parallel. Numerous art venues and an ultra-modern archaeological museum were constructed for the needs of European culture capital designation. The cultural and educational facilities include the municipal library, the university libraries, many theatres, the municipal art gallery, the University of Patras's facilities, the Hellenic Open University and the Technical Institute of Patras. A number of research facilities are also established in the university campus area. Economy The economy of the city largely depends on its service sector. Its main economic activities include retailing, logistics, financial and public sector services. Patras suffered a severe problem of deindustrialization in the late 1980s and 1990s, a number of major productive units shut down in successive order. As a result, a considerable portion of the city's workforce and the city's economic planning in its entirety had to be re-evaluated and restructured by the authorities giving emphasis on the science sector. The University of Patras contributed by working towards this goal, using its service and technology sectors. The area still retains some of its traditional winemaking and foodstuff industries as well as a small agricultural sector. Major businesses in Patras include Topic. Services sector Most Greek banks have their regional headquarters for Western Greece in Patras. In 2010, the new infocenter of Patras was established, inside the neoclassical building of the former market, Agora Argyri, in AU Andrio Street. The building includes a conference hall, along with multipurpose and exhibitional spaces. 
The regional unit of Achaia has about 4,800 hotels rooms and in 2006, 286,000 tourists, mainly from Greece, stayed in the area for a total of 634,000 days. Manufacturing sector Patras still has a large manufacturing base for a variety of industries. Titan Cement Company operates a large cement factory, with a private port, in Sothopyrgos, a suburb of Patras. Patras hosts several timber manufacturing companies, and a wood distribution center of Shellman. The largest local company is Abex. The paper sector is also active including a paper factory belonging to Georgia Pacific Delica and two important Greek companies, Elite and El Pac, headquartered in the city. Patras has several packing and industrial equipment companies. The most important of them are the local Anzuletos and the multinational Frigoglass, a subsidiary of Coca-Cola, headquartered in the suburbs of Patras. Ideal Bikes is the leading bike producer in Greece, with large export activities. CBL is headquartered in Patras, while Vianex, owned by Pavlos Yanakopoulos, has its largest production facilities in the industrial area of the city. The once omnipresent textile industry of the city is now almost defunct after the shutdown of the huge factory of Piraiki Patraiki, Piraike Patraik, followed by numerous smaller textile industries. This had an important impact on the city's economy and resulted in high levels of unemployment in the 1990s. The remains of the facilities, still cover hundreds of acres in the south side of the city. Patras companies also focus in dress production, the most important among them being Dur. <laughs> Food Some of the largest industries in the city belong to the soft drinks and drinks sector. There are factories from Coca-Cola HBC and Athenian Brewery established in area, along with the facilities of the largest local company in soft drinks production, Lou. The city is also home to many leading Greek wineries and distilleries, among them the venerable Achaia Kloss and Parparousi located in Rio. In the food sector, Friesland Foods, through the local subsidiary Noinoi, operates a new yogurt factory in the city's industrial area. Patras is also home to important fish farming companies Andromeda, Nereus. ECOFEED operates in the industrial zone of Patras, the largest fish feeds factory in the Mediterranean. The city hosts the second largest flour mills in Greece, Kepanu Mills. <laughs> <laughs> Energy sector Asiona has completed the largest wind park in Greece, on the Panachaiko mountain, overlooking the city of Patras. The public electric company, operates a small hydroelectric plant on River Glafkos. Topic research and technology Intracom facilities in Patras house the offices of telecommunications software development, terminal equipment design, development programs, and support services divisions. Expansion plans have recently been completed. CBL Patras, a global manufacturer of specialty chemicals and active pharmaceutical ingredients, is a startup from a professor of the University of Patras, the Keralia Innovation Hub. InnoHub hosts many companies focusing on microelectronics. Patras Science Park is an incubator for many small but upcoming technology companies. Nobaco, a Greek electronic cigarette brand, works mainly with cooperation with the University of Patras. There has been a significant development in the R&D sector, in the last few years, as a result of the many research institutes and the university impact in the area. The Computer Technology Institute and the Industrial Systems Institute of Greece are headquartered in Patras. The city is also a host to the 4th ICE HT Institute of Chemical Engineering and High Temperature Chemical Processes and the Institute of Biomedical Technology. Media Culture 
The cultural activity of Patras includes the Patras International Festival with various artistic activities, mainly in the fields of theatre and music, the Patras Carnival and the Poetry Symposium. The city hosts many museums, including the Patras Archaeological Museum, the History and Ethnology Museum, the Folk Art Museum, the Press Museum and the Technology Museum, the latter in the campus of Patras University. Other cultural institutes are, the Visual Arts Workshop, the Icon Painting School, the Carnival Float Workshop, the Municipal Library, the Municipal Gallery, along with many private art galleries. The architectural heritage of the city is dominated by neoclassicism, but also includes structures from other periods. Patras is also a pilot city of the Council of Europe and EU Intercultural Cities Programme. Theatrical tradition and music The Patras Municipal and Regional Theatre was founded in June 1988, having as its main stage the city's landmark, the Apollon Theatre. Throughout its existence it has mounted critically acclaimed performances ranging from ancient dramaturgy and modern Greek, to international repertoire. The theatre cooperates with other theatrical groups, such as the Viomachiniki group and the Makani Technus art machine. The Roman Odeon hosts ancient dramas in the summer, while the Pantheon Theatre, the Art Factory, the Lithographian and the Agora Theatres provide additional venues. The International Festival of Patras takes place every summer, with a program consisting mostly of plays—both ancient drama and modern theatre—as well as various musical events. Patras has also a very strong indie rock scene with critically acclaimed bands such as Raining Pleasure, Abbey Gale, Serpentine, Doc and Doris and others. The city is also the birthplace of Karajosi's Shadow Theater in Greece, with Dimitris Sardunis as founder. In addition, there are several conservatoires and music schools, including one devoted exclusively to Byzantine music, several orchestras and choirs. There are also a number of dance schools, and there are plans to set up a dance theater within the context of the Patras Municipal and Regional Theater. The latter hosts a full-time professional theater group, while there are several amateur groups performing in the city. Topic. Carnival The Patras Carnival Petrino Carnivali is the largest event of its kind in Greece and one of the biggest in Europe, with a heritage reaching back 160 years. The events begin in January and last until Clean Monday. Topic. European Capital of Culture 2006 Patras was chosen by the European Commission to be the European Capital of Culture for the year 2006. The concept of the event revolved around the main theme of «bridges» and «dialogues», drawing benefit from the city's rich history and its position as a «gate to the West» to underline the essence of the productive interaction of culture and civilizations in Europe. The EU Commission found Patras plans very ambitious and also commented that a successful hosting of the title by a medium-sized city would make it possible to redefine the meaning of the term cultural capital. The selection panel for 2006 noted in its final report, the current cultural activity of the city includes the Patras International Festival various artistic activities, mainly in the field of music, the Patras Carnival and the Poetry Symposium organized each year for the 25 years by an ad hoc committee at the University of Patras. The Patras 2006 proposal focuses on two central ideas, bridges and dialogues. Cultural managers from Patras and the general public will be involved in developing these ideas. Further, four poles, programs of cultural attraction will be developed. The first, a city for Europe, will relate to the architectural heritage, the industrial revolution and similar subjects. The counterpart cities, program will be developed in the fields of human and social sciences and in diverse artistic fields. The three sea battles, will present a cultural program focusing on peace and understanding. The last theme, the many homelands is directly linked to the etymology of the name of the city. This program will among other things concentrate on art workshops, the transfer of know-how, way of life and entertainment. In 2006 various cultural events were held in the context of the European Capital of Culture. 
Among the artists presenting their work in Patras were, Gary Burton, Maxim Shostakovich, Ian Anderson, with the Patras Municipal Orchestra, Jean-Louis Trintignant, Roberto Benini, Eros Ramazzotti and José Carreras. With the completion of the Capital of Culture program, a part of the old Ladopolis factory was renovated to host exhibitions, a small theatre named the Art Factory, was built and a number of neoclassical buildings around the city were renovated as part of a plan to preserve the city's architectural heritage and link it to its cultural life. The new archaeological museum was completed in 2009. Its globe-like roof and modern architectural design enhances the town's northern entrance, taking its place among the other city landmarks. Topic. Sports Patras has several sports facilities and important teams in almost all the major Greek leagues. Panachaiki Gymnastiki Inasi, Apollon Patras, EA. Patras and No Patras are historically the major sports clubs based in the city, specializing in football, basketball, volleyball and water polo. The city's national stadium, Pampeloponizhiko Stadium, was renovated and expanded in 2004. Since 2009, a new event, the Patras International Circuit Cart takes place every September, turning the city streets into a circuit. The city has hosted several international sports events, such as the 1995 Basketball Under-21 World Championship preliminaries, the 1995 Men's European Volleyball Championship preliminaries, the 1997 Rhythmic Gymnastics European Championships, the 2001 World Wrestling Championships, the 2003 European Women Basketball Championship, the 2003 International Children's Games, a group stage of the football tournament in the 2004 Olympic Games, the 2007 World Rhythmic Gymnastics Championships, the 2008 World Deaf Football Championships and the 2019 Mediterranean Beach Games. Religion The city is the seat of the Greek Orthodox metropolis of Patras. As in the rest of the country, the largest denomination is the Orthodox Church, which represents the majority of the population. There is also a sizable living community of Roman Catholics. The most significant church in the city is the Church of St. Andrew, in the southwest of the city center. The construction of the church began in 1908 under the supervision of the architect Anastasios Metaxas, followed by Georgios Nemikos. It was inaugurated in 1974. It is the largest church in Greece and the third largest Byzantine-style church in the Balkans, after the Cathedral of St. Sava in Belgrade and Alexander Nevsky Cathedral in Sofia. It holds relics of Andrew the Apostle, which were returned to the city of Patras from St. Peter's Basilica, Rome in September, 1964, on the orders of Pope Paul VI. Other historical churches of the city are The Church of Pantocrateras 1832, the Old Cathedral, in the Upper Town District, the Metropolis Cathedral of Patras 1846, dedicated to Panaya Evangelistria, on Mazonos Street. The Church of Aeos Nikolaos 1885, next to the steps of Aeu Nikolaos Street. The Church of Pantanasa 1859, Ypsilanto Street. The Church of Aeos Dimitrios, in the Upper Town District. The Catholic Church of St. Andrew 1937, on Mazonos Street. The Anglican Church of St. Andrew 1878, on Carolus Street. The Old Church of Aeos Andreas 1836-1843, next to the New Temple. Situated in the site of Andrew the Apostle's martyrdom, it was built in basilica style by the architect Lysandros Kaftanzoglu. Topic. Jewish community The first Jewish presence in the city was dated back to the Hellenistic era see After the World War II, the community almost disappeared and the last synagogue closed in 1950. There is a district of the city, named Evriamnimata, where the old Jewish cemetery was located. Cuisine <coughs> 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 Local specialities include Borgetto, similar to the Corfio Bordetto, Tillichteria Petrina, Mavrodaphne wine, Tentera drink, Petrina leukemia. 
Topic: People. The city boasts an impressive number of politicians in the national political arena as its natives, greater than any other Greek city. Significant personalities shaping the character of Greece were and are associated with Patras. Its famous natives include the Prime Minister's Dimitrios Gonaris, the main leader of the anti venizelist party in the 1910s, Stylianos Gonatas, a high ranking officer, politician, and one of the leaders of the 1922 revolution. Andreas Mihalikopoulos, a prominent Liberal Party cadre, foreign minister and prime minister, and Dimitrios Maximos, a distinguished economist, minister and finally prime minister in the Civil War era. More recent figures include the Papandreou family, arguably the most influential in post-World War II Greece, Panagiotis Kanalopoulos, the last democratically elected head of government before the establishment of the 1967 junta, and Kostas Stephanopoulos, the former president of the Hellenic Republic. Transport Seaport The city has always been a sea trade hub because of its strategic position. The port manages more than half of the foreign sea passenger transportation in Greece, and has excellent car ferry links with the Ionian Islands and the major Adriatic ports of Italy. Additionally, a new port is under construction in the southern section of the city to accommodate the increased traffic and relieve the city centre from port operations. In 2011, the new harbour southern port went into operation. Ferries to Italy now dock there. The port is connected by a number of daily routes to the Ionian Islands Kerkura, Kefalonia, and Zakynthos, to the port of Igamenitsa, and to the Italian cities Ancona, Bari, Brindisi, Trieste, and Venice. Seaplanes also operate. Roads A newly constructed, 20-kilometre ring road the Bypass of Patras was first opened in 2002 in order to alleviate heavy traffic throughout the city. A mini ring road known as the mini bypass of Patras is now being constructed to alleviate heavy traffic-related problems in the city centre. Two large highways are under construction that will connect the seacoast and the new port with the bypass of Patras. The first is over the small Diakoniaris River from Eleftheriu Venizelo Street until the bypasses exit in Eglakada, while the second consists of two roads, 4 km 2 miles each, that will run in parallel with the Glafkos River. Another project will lead to an additional entrance to the downtown area by expanding Kanakari Street. The highway connection with Athens and Pyrgos is to be greatly upgraded. Patras will also be the central hub of the Ionia Odo's highway, intended to bridge western Greece from Kalamata to Yanina. The Rio Antirio Bridge is north of the city and links Peloponnese to mainland Greece, and was completed in August 2004. Patras is bypassed by the Olympia Odo's A8 motorway, which is also part of the E55 route that crosses the Rio Antirio Bridge, dominating the sea line across the Gulf of Corinth. GR5, E55, GR8, E55 and E65, partly Panepistimu Street. GR8A, GR9, E55, partly Acti Dimaean. GR33, partly Calavridon, Georgiou Papandreou Street and Akrotaru. Bypass of Patras. Topic: Rail. A rudimentary single narrow gauge railway track crosses the city and connects it to Rio. In the past regional rail links were provided by the Hellenic Railways Organization, connecting Patras to Athens and Piraeus as well as to Pyrgos and Kalamata. OAS announced the suspension of all the rail service in the Peloponnese on January 2011 so today 2018, the railway track is in use only by suburban trains that connect Patras with the adjacent villages of Ryan and Agios Vasilios. The central passenger train station of Patras which is a small building constructed in 1954, lies to the west of the downtown area, between Athonos Amalias Avenue and the North Port. The main freight station of Agios Andreas lies further to the south, next to the homonymous church and it is not in use anymore. 
Finally, the old depot of Agios Dionysios, consisting of about 10 tracks, offers basic turntable and roundhouse facilities. It is about 400 meters (1312.34 feet) long. A new double standard gauge railway line to Corinth and further to Athens is under construction. The construction works are currently 2018 in progress close to the suburbs of Patras, but the remaining few kilometers till the city center and the new port are still under study because of various financial and technical problems. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Public transport. Within the city of Patras is served by buses. There are two transport lines to and from the University of Patras, and some nearby lines to the city suburbs, like Saravali, Zarushlaika, Paralia. Commuter rail services have recently been established by Prostiakos, with one line currently connecting Patras, Rio and Agios Vasilios. Regional bus links are provided by KTEL, connecting the city to almost the entire Greek territory and to places inside the province of Achaia. Air Seasonal air transport is provided at Araxos Airport, about 40 kilometres from the city. International relations Patras is a pilot city of the Council of Europe and the European Commission Intercultural Cities Programme. Topic. Twin towns Sister cities Patras is twinned with Patras was selected as main motif for the 10 euros Greek Patras 2006 commemorative coin, minted in 2006. This coin was designed to commemorate an event signaling an enlightened course for Patras and serving as a reminder of the way in which culture can stimulate the economy and promote development, when Patras was appointed European capital of culture. On the obverse is the logo for Patras 2006 around the words, European Capital of Culture. Gallery See also Apollon Theatre, Patras Cities in Greece List of settlements in Achaia Panachaiko